Welcome, Pisces and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please keep in mind time is fluid, so whenever you do this, it could represent a past, a present, or a future event for you. If it does not resonate for you, and even if it does, be sure to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign for additional messages and guidance. There are always timestamps in the description box if you would ever like to skip ahead. All right, so we have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy and very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. All right, we are using the mermaid tarot today. I'm going to read your energy at the top. There's the bottom, but it could be flipped or reversed. All right. Pisces, sun, moon rising, and Venus. In love and in life, please do it. What did you know, see, and understand for Pisces, sun, moon rising, and Venus? Something flipped. I'm actually going to take those. All right, we have the Emperor, that's Aries energy, the Four of Swords. We have the Seven of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, with the Three of Pentacles. We have the Wheel of Fortune, the King of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles. The Three of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Someone wants to come back towards you, Pisces. They feel left out in the cold from you. Five of Pentacles, they miss you. They're thinking a lot about the past, a lot of mistakes here. This person, they have some things they want to say to you. They could be afraid that you're trying to push them away or that you don't want to deal with them anymore. Um, I'm going to start here. So the emperor, male, female, doesn't matter. You're standing in your power here, Pisces. You know your value. You know your worth. You know what you bring to the table. You're very smart. You've learned a lot, okay? All these past situations have caused you to elevate yourself, okay? You've grown from them. You've overcome them. You've become the person that you are today because of these situations. There's a strength in you, and you know how to make things happen for your life. It's like you no longer let people hold you back. You take action. You're in this period of thinking because there is a situation that has you really contemplating because though you are in this emperor status, like if you say male or female, you're thinking about this person's offer because you know they're coming back in. And a part of you wants to take it, but a part of you has learned from the past and you don't know if you can trust this person just yet. Maybe they weren't very stable in the past. Maybe there was too much conflict fighting other people involved. Um, then we talk about third parties. Third parties are not always physical people. Sometimes they can be, you know, friends, family, lovers, or they can be, you know, ego, work, addiction, whatever it is, okay? You, you want growth here, but you're tired of waiting for a fresh start with this person because maybe they're not taking the initiative to make it happen with you. Now, the thing about it, though, is you are very much enjoying this connection. This person, they bring passion and excitement to your life, and you do want to manifest this, but you're confused right now. You don't know how to make this happen, or you're, you don't want to keep waiting. You want to keep... You want to make that you push forward okay persevere push through you don't want to keep putting your life on hold and waiting for this person to make up their mind okay and again cross watchers it all could be reversed the seven of pentacles here it's like some of you actually could be having a child with this person you could have children don't have to though this is about waiting and planning and trying to be very patient okay because you want good things here. You want a fresh start with this person. But how much time and energy can you invest into waiting for this person to get clear and make up their mind? Or have you already waited for this person to make up their mind? Some of you could be seven months, could be a year even, that you've been waiting for this person, putting your life on hold, okay? I mean, it could be four, five, six, seven years, okay? It could be, It's oh, it's been a while. You, you've taken all this time to wait for this person to make you an offer here for a fresh start. Or maybe they're waiting for you to make that to them, okay? With the Six of Wands, you know, you do want to be successful. You want to be victorious here. And I kind of feel like some of you are actually competing for this person's attention. Now, if they're, for those of you, for those of you who have multiple people here, this could be you, like, sending them pictures of yourself, like, looking good, like, feeling good, trying to, like, get their attention, get them to think about you, you know, you want to show off a little bit, kind of show this person what they're missing kind of thing, or that could even be them. They could be trying so hard to get your attention, Pisces. With the Three of Pentacles, I think you do want to work with them, though, but you need to be sure because you want success moving forward. You don't want to keep hitting roadblocks with this person, okay? You really, you're ready for things to kind of 
come full circle. You know, you, you've planted the seed, you have waited, you've tended the garden, you have waited, waited, waited for this person to get their act together and make changes here or to speak their truth. You want stability, you don't want to keep playing games. You are now an emperor, okay? And their energy towards you, we have the wheel of fortune. So they're looking at this like it's destiny. It's only a matter of time before the two of you come together and everything that has collectively happened to the two of you has been for a reason. Okay, maybe they needed more time to grow or you needed more time, but they feel like eventually the two of you are going to end up together because you're supposed to be together. That's how they see that. That's how they feel about that. Okay, this person could be a strong earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, gender irrelevant here. This person has commitment on their mind and they want to make you an offer. This person, they have really, in this time of separation, they have really upped their game, okay? This person, they want to come back to you. And now for others of you, let's say this is not a, this is not an ex for everybody, okay? This could be someone who, you know, you, you liked this person for quite some time, nothing ever came of it, okay? Maybe this person was, was committed to someone else, they never made up their mind, etc. But I, I do feel like there's some type of history here, whether you... Worked with, this, worked with this person for many years or you've known them mutually through contacts or whatever, okay? Maybe they did work on your home. I don't know. This person, they are, they're realizing what they want. They're evaluating things. You've been silent on them. You've been holding back. You were trying to figure some things out. You know, what? You, how much longer can you wait for this person? What's, you know, how, you know, putting your foot down a little bit you know you have expectations you're not going to keep bending to get those needs met okay it's like it's this way or it's just you know i'm moving on to something else this person though they're fearful because they know they've hesitated a lot in the past it took them some time okay with this kind of energy king of pentacles slow moving energy it took it took this person he or she a while to become this king of pentacles to be ready to commit to this or move this more seriously okay it's taken them a great deal of time maybe even years okay now they know there's going to be hesitation from you because you have sat here idly waiting for this person to make this offer to you. They're a little bit afraid that you're going to be like, okay, but why now? Why are you making me this offer now? Maybe I've moved on, okay? Why are you coming at me now with this information, okay? Maybe they see that you're moving on in a new relationship. Maybe you got married. Maybe you're having a baby. That's not for all of you. You know what I'm saying? They see you moving on with your life. You're no longer waiting waiting around for them, tapping your feet, waiting for them to come to you. It's like, you're like, but why now? Why are you coming to me now? What has taken you so long? Why are you just now realizing that I'm what you want? And how are you so sure of that now when in the past you were confused about it? Because you see this person as maybe being a little bit imbalanced. Maybe they don't know what they want. Maybe they have children to think about. Maybe they were in another commitment and they were afraid of conflict, okay? Maybe they had financial ties to a situation. They couldn't actually break free of it. They had to wait. I mean, the wheel can also be an indicator of all seasons changing. So that could be a full year. Some of them could have applied for a divorce and it's just now finalized or just now getting started. You get what I'm saying? This person... It's taken them some time to figure some things out. You still are concerned, confused. Are they still on the fence about it? Are they really committed to this because it's taken them some time, but you want this, okay? They feel left out in the cold from you. They want to come back in there. Look at how they're, she's like, she's like, look, you know, I'll share what I have with you. And they're just sitting here like, are you sure? You know, I can't invest in maybes or what ifs. You can only invest in them that's sure because maybe some of you have a lot of, uh, at stake here as well. Maybe you have families. Okay, we have the Three of Cups here. So I do see a reunion between the two of you. And I see that that's their intention here is to come together with you. This is also can be, you know, commitment. This can be engagement, celebration, announce, making it Facebook official. I'm with him and, and you know, exa exactly. And she's with me and et cetera. Okay, whoever, right? We're together. It's known. It's public now. It's like recognition of this because they see this cup with you and they're trying to figure out what they're going to say how they're going to approach this and tell you listen you know i figure some things out now i'm really ready to embrace the connection that i have with you allow your heart insulting with joy and they have taken the time to decide what they want and they're manifesting this with you they do want this with you it, it's like you're nervous though you're hesitant because you're in your head because maybe they left you out in the cold or maybe some of you left them out okay really in your head about this decision because Everything you do moving forward, it feels risky. Can you invest any, waste any more time in somebody who's been so indecisive in the past? You're nervous about that. Things were majorly imbalanced in the past with the Six of Pentacles. And it feels like you do want this Ten of Cups with this person. Maybe they were married in the past. There's a lot of communication back and forth, you guys texting, emails, calls, whatever. 
maybe they're telling you I've made changes and I have ended my situation and I have decided this is what I want to do, this is what I want to pursue with you. It has taken them a lot of strength, Leo energy here to make these changes, okay? The signs that I see here, I have Aries strongly here. Um, I have uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I have uh, strong Leo energy here, but again, it absolutely could be any sign. Someone literally could be telling you, listen, I am freeing myself, taking back control of my life so that I'm free to move towards you. I'm sorry that it's taken me so long, but you're nervous and you're hesitant about it. It's like you you want this is what you've waited to hear, but you're also nervous. Like, are they still on the fence? You know, if I give up my situation or if I make changes or put my life on hold again, Am I going to get stuck on this carousel and keep going in this repetitive pattern of this person not really ever giving me what I deserve? I do feel like they're trying to make changes here with you, though, okay? All right, Pisces, this was your reading. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I am wishing you all strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.